So there's been a lot of talk and excitement recently about the, the upcoming Bastion buffs. The fact that Recon Mode is a lot better with a reduced spread and an increased clip size. The fact that Bastion can now heal while he's moving. But one thing I don't think many people are realizing is that Bastion is now an unkillable god. Kind of, in sentry form at least. With his healing, he can survive a crazy amount of things. This uh, thread popped up the other day on Reddit that talked about all of the new things that Bastion can survive solely due to the brand new passive Ironclad, which reduces incoming damage by 35% while in sentry and tank configuration. So I thought this thread was really interesting, and I wanted to jump in game and test it for myself. And it's kind of crazy. Here's a list of some of the things that Bastion, while self-healing in sentry mode, can survive because he's taking 35% less damage. He can survive a full clip of Genji's basic attack. He can survive Genji's ultimate. A full clip of McCree's basic basic attack, or his fan the hammer. He can survive a full clip of rockets from Pharah, a full clip of Reaper, unless he is right in Bastion's face. If he's even just a little bit far away, Bastion survives. He can survive through Reaper's ultimate, through a full clip of Soldier, plus rockets, through a full clip of Tracer, no problem. He can survive Tracer's ultimate, a full clip of Junkrat, plus his mine, a full charge Hanzo shot until his healing charge runs out. He survives Hanzo's scatter shot placed right at his feet, he almost survives Hanzo's ult if he just got a little bit of extra healing, he would live through it. He can survive Torbjorn's turret level 2, basically without taking a scratch. In fact, he can survive Torbjorn's turret in Molten Core until his healing charge runs out. Full charge Widow shots are no problem until he runs out of healing. He survives Diva point blank shots in the head. He survives a full charge Zarya, Roadhog point blank, Anna's biotic grenade, and a full clip he survives that because by the time the biotic grenade debuff runs out, he can heal himself out and then she runs out of ammo and has to reload. He even survives a full charge Symmetra beam until his healing ends. I mean, it is not so the amount that he can now survive. Now, there's a few things that he still definitely doesn't survive. McCree's, Pharah's, Junkrat's, Divas, and Roadhog's ultimate. Those will all kill him without question. But it is undoubtedly the case that Bastion, now in Sentry form is a hell of a lot tankier. And then you couple that with the self-healing and he's looking mighty strong. There's a precedent here set though before everyone loses their mind and say that Bastion is crazy OP, super overpowered, nerf, nerf, nerf. This isn't that much different than a couple of other abilities that we already have in the game, such as May's Ice Block, uh, Reaper's Wraith Form, or even Roadhog's self-healing. In a similar fashion, those abilities negate or heal through a lot of incoming damage, and it's the same with Bastion. Obviously, you can interrupt Bastion's healing with any stuns like a hook or McCree's flashbang, for example. But nevertheless, this is kind of a new strength for Bastion. His big problem is that sentry mode is now only really good at medium and close distances. At far distances, his spread is so large that he's basically hitting jack shit. But it's really cool to see that now with his self-healing, coupled with this brand new ironclad passive, reducing all incoming damage by 35%, I mean, that it seems like it's leaps and bounds better than any amount of armor that he had in the past because this is a persistent reduction even when his armor runs out and that reduction on top of his armor means that he's reducing some crazy amount of incoming damage while he still has armor active <laughs> it's really really good but again just like ice block wraith form and roadhog self heal when he's healing himself he's not doing anything else but the nice thing for bastion is that him staying alive a little bit longer basically Bastion's biggest weakness is someone sneaking up on him and taking him out really quickly. Because if your team is there to support you, now that you have that extra buffer of time with Ironclad coupled with your self-healing, that lets your team respond and deal with whoever's flanking you or whoever's trying to take you out. So it's a really, really nice buff. And this is, a, I think, a big change that a lot of people maybe didn't initially put too much thought into. But as you see in this footage here, the fact that he can survive all these new things, almost with sometimes not, not only survive, but even out heal the damage from all this stuff because of the healing with ironclad uh, it's really nice and buying bastion some more time 
for his team to help him out to deal with the flanker or to provide him with some additional heals it, it's a really really big deal and i think that's gonna it's it's gonna be really cool to see to to see in game maybe not for the people who are trying to kill bastion though <laughs> uh so i wanted to show this off to you guys i thought this thread was really awesome again i wanted to test it in game and actually get some footage to show you but new bastion with ironclad and his self-healing is an unkillable god at least against some stuff and other stuff they found his kryptonite watch out <laughs> All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for me here today. Just wanted to show this off. I thought this was really interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good one. And until next time, I'll see you later.